Hello everyone. I've been doing a little bit of reflecting over the last few days as on Wednesday it marked a year since I was inducted into the parish as incumbent on May the 24th. And as part of that reflection I've been looking over the order of service for my induction. And I particularly wanted to focus on one of the Bible readings that we had from John's Gospel chapter 15 which says this. As the Father has loved me, so have I loved you. Now remain in my love. If you keep my commands, you will remain in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commands and remain in his love. I have told you this so that my joy may be in you and that your joy may be complete. My command is this, love each other as I have loved you. And I wanted to include a reading about love because love is so important. And I know that might seem like it's stating the obvious a little bit, and love and the Christian faith. But actually, if we look at the world around us, we look at the hardship, the difficulties and the pain people are facing. People so need to hear that they are loved by God, no matter what. We cannot say that too much because people really need and crave to know that they are loved. It is what faith is about. It's what made my early journey of faith. It was such a moment when I remember that kind of feeling of God saying that you are loved. And for me, that just changed everything. It wasn't about sort of being fearful of God, that God was sort of up there uh, in the clouds, if you like, miles away, this big being who didn't care about me or whatever. But it was about God saying to me that you are loved. And through that, that kind of changed my whole perspective. And in, indeed, even in my ministry, it's been all about making sure that people know that they are loved by God. Making sure that no one ever goes through life not knowing that they are loved by God. Because we need to hear that. We need to know that we are loved. But actually, the thing is, it's also about making sure that we're loving one another. Because that is how mostly people know that they are loved by God. Because we can talk about people being loved by God. But actually, if they're not seeing that from God's people, it means nothing. Because ultimately, we need to be showing that love in who we are. And actually, I have been reflecting on all the ways in which the church has been showing that love to others uh, over the last year. And it's actually an extensive list. I won't uh, go through every minute detail. on it. But actually, it's not a list of things that I've done over this last year. But actually, it's a list of things that people across the parish have worked so, so hard to do to make sure that people know that they are loved by God in very real and practical ways. And that is so, so important. So I wanted to take this opportunity to thank you for all that you have done in making sure that people know that they are loved by God, because that is what is important and what makes us a church. Without that love, we're nothing more than a club. But what makes us as a church is showing that love to other people. Jenna and I have been on the receiving end of that love and we feel so loved by everyone here. So we thank you for that. But I also want to take this opportunity to encourage us to continue showing that love. It's not something that we're not doing, but it's something that we need to continue doing to show people of the world that they are loved by God. Because that is, and I'm a testament to that, a life changing experience when people come to the knowledge that they are loved deeply by God. So I encourage you to make that love the foundation um, of all that we do and continue to doing that in our journey of faith together as we make this journey as a church. So thank you all so much for all you do in showing that love to everyone. And no doubt we will, there's lots, lots more to come.